Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Maya. As you can tell by today's title, I am showing you how I have decorated for summer. I use the word decorated very loosely because it's not really decorating. I'm kind of just switching some things out to a more summer vibe. Um, I am definitely more of a like minimal, subtle kind of a decorator. <laughs> Um, so this haul is super tiny. I'm not exaggerating. There's like five things um, But I figured it could probably help motivate or inspire some of you to decorate for the summer give you some ideas So I wanted to go ahead and share what pieces I picked up to incorporate into the house for summer and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So without further ado, let's just hop right in so If you've been following my channel or watching my videos um, You've seen my house you've seen my decor and you know again that it's very subtle very simple um, but there are some pieces of greenery that I 100% wanted to switch out um, they are definitely more wintry in my opinion and so I wanted to go ahead and switch them out so the first thing that I picked up was this super cute piece of greenery or floral um, I loved how full it is so I knew that one would be plenty and I also love the greenery that has kind of that white cast over it I feel like that helps to just soften it and in my opinion makes it look a little bit more real I feel like that super like green plasticky look can look really fake so um, yeah I really gravitated toward this um, and it's funny because I don't normally like go for color um, but I felt like the purple was subtle enough and just kind of dainty a nice little touch And so I went ahead and picked this up I'll go ahead and show you guys like close up without me in the frame so that you can better see it um, But yeah, this is the first piece and I wanted this for the dining table um, To put it into that vase that I DIY'd and if you haven't seen that video and you're interested I'll go ahead and link it somewhere up here for you so you can go ahead and watch it But yeah, this is the first piece super excited it's giving like English cottage vibes to me I don't know if it's just me but thought that this was super cute the next greenery that I for sure wanted to switch out was the greenery in the bathroom um, it's really I feel like neutral and probably could stay there year-round but I definitely wanted to add some color and some life into the bathroom so I picked up these stems and again kind of surprised myself because I normally would not gravitate toward colors especially something this bright but I figured it would be fun to mix it up a little bit and try something different so that is what I did and um, sorry it doesn't say what kind of flowers these are so I apologize but I will be linking everything below if you're interested in picking up any of the things that I did um, but I thought that this was still a soft enough yellow that it wouldn't be too bright and in your face and I feel like it's again more subtle to where it doesn't look as fake and so I thought that these would be the perfect addition to that tall vase that I have and so I can't wait to style it and hopefully I don't get tired of it. The next thing that I for sure knew I wanted to do was to add a little bit of life to our entryway or our door. Um, so I've never put anything out there. We just get so much snow here and rain during the winter and winter is like forever here <laughs> at least it feels like it so um i've never really ventured out to do anything but this year i was like you know what let's do it um for the summer anyway i feel like you know it won't get all bushy and you know nasty with all the moisture um because in the summer obviously it's nice and warm and dry so the first thing that i wanted to add was a wreath to the door and so i found this really cute wreath <laughs> It is just so, so cute in my opinion, so dainty, so sweet. But I loved this one because it isn't too in your face, it isn't too colorful, um, it isn't too much in my opinion. So I liked this, I love that the green is kind of a more muted green, and then the florals are very neutral and white and subtle and dainty and cute. So <laughs> how many more adjectives can I use here? Um, but yeah, I was really excited to find this one. There were so many pretty ones at Hobby Lobby, um, but I wanted to keep it a little bit more neutral since the welcome mat that I got is a little bit more loud um, and colorful. And so I figured this would be a good balance. And then to go ahead and hang that up 
I got this hook. And the hook I actually got at Michael's. I went into Michael's as well as Hobby Lobby um, just to kind of see what they had, if there was anything that I just had to have. And surprisingly, there wasn't, um, which I was kind of proud of myself. I didn't go too crazy, um, but I did find this hook. And um, I was kind of going back and forth as to whether I should do a hook or like a command strip, you know, for something a little bit more subtle. Um, but ultimately, I decided a hook would be probably more sturdy. Um, I don't know how well the command strip would strip would hold up against the summer heat, and we had a ton of heat um, on the door, so I figured that a hook would be a little bit of a safer route. I'm hoping that it fits. I figured, you know, these are pretty standard and fit over pretty much every door, but uh, we shall see, I guess. And the last thing I got, like I said, is a welcome mat. And they have really cute options at Hobby Lobby, um, but this one just was my favorite. It is so cute and pretty and floral and just kind of simple in the sense that it just says welcome. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not a fan of the things that kind of are more cheesy. I am a very cheesy person, that's not what I mean, but there were some that just kind of, the sayings were a little bit... I don't know. I felt like I would get so tired of something like that so fast. So I figured welcome was a pretty safe bet. And um, again, because this was more colorful and floral, I wanted to go ahead and keep the wreath on the more simple side. So like I told you guys, very small haul, very, very tiny haul. So um, that is everything that I got. And for me, I think will be more than enough to bring in that summer feel into the house. Um, of course, you know, with us just just entering into the summer months here soon I'm sure that there will be a lot more cute decor that I will want <laughs> so um, I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated and um, I went ahead and included the prices um, of all the things so again if you're interested you could check it out so let's go ahead and get started on styling these new pieces for summer You'll see here that I struggled a little bit with this greenery, um, but I did want to leave it in just to show you to, you know, just play around with it, adjust it, um, just keep going until you like how it looks. So um, definitely love this piece. I am so, so glad that I picked it up. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not 100% sold on the yellow. I did tell myself to just leave it for a few days and see how I feel. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you like the yellow? Um, I also switched out the candle for something a little bit more summery as well. And lastly, I just needed to put the wreath up and the welcome mat out. I absolutely love how the wreath looks on the door. It's so crazy how just two things have just transformed the entryway and just make it feel so summery. I am so excited for summer, if you couldn't tell. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, I hope it was helpful just again to lend some inspiration for the summer decoration. I'll see you guys in the next one.